Okay, we're dispatched uh, for a seven-year-old male uh, who uh, is found unresponsive, uh, no previous history, uh, vomit uh, around the air uh, around uh, him apparently. Arrive on scene, uh, mom or dad, caregiver, obviously distraught. We'll uh, approach her uh, patient, ask him what uh, parents uh, think happens. They're unsure, uh, just a child was well and now found unresponsive, as you excuse my sandals. We approach our patient, uh, we find one patient, uh, cyanotic, uh, unresponsive, or not responding to her, uh, our interactions. We say, hello, Johnny. Uh, no response uh, to verbal pain, uh, uh, will attempt painful stimuli. You want to get a bag, but I'll mask you. Um, so unresponsive to painful stimuli. Uh, because he's unresponsive to painful stimuli, I'm just going to feel for a pulse. So we have a pulse. Um, turn my attention to the airway. We've got some vomit in his airway, so we'll roll him over. Uh, finger sweep out what we can uh, get out. We'll turn our suction on. And we'll section the rest out. Uh, whatever vomit is left, uh, we'll attempt an OPA sized appropriately. Thank you. A bag valve mask. So we'll attempt to get chest rise and fall. No chest rise and fall. Can we try a two person bag valve mask? Okay. Okay. Okay, no chest rise and fall. Uh, given the history, I think we were in a foreign body or obstruction. Can you start chest compressions, please? I'm going to get the laryngoscope in the Miguel forceps. I don't see anything in there. I keep going. Yeah, that's fine. Up there. Yeah, I see something. I can't, yeah, no, I can't get it. It's not coming. Can you do another another round 30? I'm just gonna grab the bras and see. what he is on that and I'll have another peek here and see if he 5.5 five. okay yeah no not going okay going 5.5 in the tracheal tube yep and he was a blue on the T on the T on the T yep. blue 5.5 stylet Just getting little pieces here. It's not coming. Yeah, you can throw the pot. Yeah, it's not coming. Yeah. Okay. Back. Compressions again. Okay, uh, I see the vocal cords, so I'm just going to pull it with my cry kit. Let me know when you're back to 30, if you don't want to count it out loud. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got something. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's try another one. Is he not breathing? Does he still have a pulse? Okay. Pulse. Okay, we got chest rise and fall. Okay, you want to come over and take over bag valve mask and we'll get a set of vitals on this kid.
So mom and dad, uh, he has, so uh, no one, does he have any medical history at all? No medical history, which we had mom and dad here to act for us. So our monitor's on and we've got a sinus tack. Color's improving. Uh, we're now starting to pink up a bit. Uh, we'll see if he returns level of consciousness. Uh, and we'll do a quick, uh, so I'm just going to do a quick physical assessment. Uh, pupils. Okay, we'll say pupils are fixed at four millimeters, not reactive. Okay, uh, no, no JVD, trachea is midline. I'm gonna grab my stethoscope in my bag. Give me a breath. Uh, abdomen soft, and no incontinence, and color in the peripheries. He's still cyanotic, but pink it up a bit. It has to be a two on him. I'll put the SB2 sensor on him. And we got pads on. We got blood pressure back. We'll say blood pressures uh, 84 on 40, a heart rate of 100 and 32, the sinus tack, uh, we'll get a blood glucose and a, this doesn't seem hot, no other, okay, so he's not responding, not breathing on his own and coming around himself, uh, we're going to try to, and we'll say blood glucose back at 4.6. <coughs> okay, uh, we are going to set up to intubate him uh, at, at this point. Uh, we will we'll stop our scenario. Uh, we'll say that, so you have a choice at the end of removing a foreign body or obstruction to go back to positive pressure ventilation or to try to intubate. I think I just go, my choice is just to go to positive pressure ventilation, get chest rise and fall. Uh, and then once uh, you have chest rise and fall, you can choose to put that endotracheal tube in. You have a pretty good understanding about what uh, the response is with this child, but it's also nice to see whether or not the patient regains a level of consciousness. And if they do, then we won't have to intubate them. And if they uh, remain uh, down, get a full set of vitals, get them pre-oxygenated, uh, SATs up to 100%, and then we could consider intubate, intubating them at that point.